Hey, Seth David here from the world-famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, bringing to you another special screencast. This time, we're talking about using Notion for a coaching business, specifically where you're doing one-on-one -on -one sessions and how to keep track of them. Now, a little background on this. I've actually got a course on how to automate your training or coaching business, which you can take on my site, that shows you how to automate a bigger, much bigger picture process. What I want to show you here is what I've started to do in Notion that replaces part of that process that I do. And in this video, I'm going to show you and I'll explain how to create the stuff that I'm going to show you, you know, how to set it up. But I can't go fully in depth on how to build it from scratch. If you want that, then you can take the course on my site on Notion, which is called Nerds Ocean of Notion. Uh, so that will give you step-by-step -step instructions for how to build the database tables and all the things that I'm going to show you here in this video. For now, what I want to show you is the basic overview of how to get this set up so you can get started tracking your one-on-one -on -one sessions for your coaching business in Notion. Let's take a look at my screen, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And Of course, you can check the description of this video for links to any references I mentioned, such as this very course right here. So let's go to the nerd board. That's kind of like my home page for my company, Nerd Enterprises Incorporated. And down here, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click here where it says clients and, and it's cut off because I'm on a smaller monitor than I normally use. Um, but this is clients and nerdy to do's. And then I'm going to put in a quick search for the client. And as I scroll down, this is a new client. He paid for five sessions with me and we've just done the first one. Uh, just recently. All right, so what I want to do is I have my, um, when somebody signs up for a session with me, what happens is they get an autoresponder uh, via email through my website, which is done on Kajabi, and it gives them the link to schedule their sessions with me. As soon as they schedule a session, I use a service called Schedule Once. It's just like Acuity or Calendly or any one of a million other of these calendar apps that you can use. Uh, they all have a direct integration with Zoom, which you definitely want to set up. And so what happens is when somebody schedules that session with me, schedule once pings Zoom, it creates the meeting, grabs the meeting information. We're also integrated with my Google Calendar, so it sticks it on a Google Calendar appointment and sends the invite out to the person. All completely automated. I don't have to do a thing. Uh, and, and so all I really have to do is show up for the session uh, on the day and time that he has scheduled with me. So now I want to set up the first session that we did. Okay, so the first thing I have to do, and by the way, I have my Zoom account configured to automatically record locally on my machine. If you have it configured to record to the Zoom cloud, be careful. Their cloud service gets very expensive very quickly uh, if you're storing videos on Zoom's cloud. So uh, my suggestion is do it locally, and then you can stick them in Dropbox or whatever you use for that kind of thing after the fact. All right, so I am going to grab a new Windows Explorer window on my other screen. You can't see this, of course. Uh, and I'm going to go to my Zoom recordings folder. So like I said, it records automatically from Zoom, and they all go into a folder that I've specified. And I'm going to find my client here. And now I can confirm that the session was done on March 24th. So we're going to say new. And... We talked about integrating Zapier and Plutio, which is their project management app. So I'll just title that session one, right? Zapier uh, and Plutio integration, right? And then I'm going to open up this page, okay? And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the MP4 file that Zoom created right over here. And actually, let me do something else. I'm going to remove this. All right. And if you notice, I have templates here. So we're going to click the call notes, the meeting and call notes template. Let me expand this. Okay. Because in this template, I actually created the space. Here the subject is the same as the title. Sometimes I'll put a shorter title like, you know, meeting... And uh, I like to do my dates in this kind of format just because things sort really nicely when there's starts to become a longer list of things. And then here I'll drag the video down. And if you have a paid Notion account, I'm not sure what you get for free, but with a paid Notion account, which in my opinion is not very expensive at all, um, you have unlimited uh, upload, storage, bandwidth, what have you. So 
very, very easy to uh, just drag and drop the video and not have to worry about you know any extra costs associated with that. And then of course over here, I'll write my general notes. Sometimes here I'll make a list of exactly what we did. Uh, completed setup of the uh, Pluteo app in Zapier. Okay, and then action items I happen to remember here were that my client was going to start setting up Zaps with Pluteo and schedule the next session with your questions when ready. Okay. And what I can do is just turn this into a checkbox. Okay. Or a to-do list rather is what it's called. And over here I'd make general notes. There were some other questions of course that I answered, but the main thing that we did was uh, he wasn't clear on what to do at a certain point with the Pluteo integration and we got that done and it was a 15 minute session, right? And you can see that from the timestamp. So when the client asked me, why are you deducting 15 minutes off of the time I paid for, I can say, well, look at the video length. It was just shy of 15 minutes. I owe you a minute and 50 seconds, something like that, right? Um, and that is how that gets set up. And then if I go back, actually, let me back up on my browser. So I go back to, here's this meeting. I can click out of it and this shows up. And for each client, they get their main page Okay, the way this is set up, this is actually a linked database. It is linked to the one master database that I have for every client, every note I ever take. It's all there. What I do is for each client, I just create a page for that client called their main page with an item type main page. And then over here, when I create the linked database, I'll click filter and I have two rules. When I'm looking at the main page, I don't need to see the main page again in the list because I'm on it, right? So I create a filter that ex that excludes that. And then here I have where the client, uh, the client or project is. And of course I specify the particular client or project that this page is uh, set up for. And so that gives me a list of only the things for this particular client. And now I can share this with the client, right? So I'm gonna turn on the sharing option. Okay, and I'm gonna allow comments right? Because they may have questions about something in my notes. They may want me to add something. Okay. I'll even allow them to duplicate it as a template in case they have their own Notion account. Um, definitely don't want to do search engine in uh, indexing on something like this. There could be sort of privileged information here, right? <coughs> now, a couple of things. I told you this table is set up based on a linked database, but you also saw the templates. So if I click new and I'll just open up a blank page, then you'll see the list of templates here. And if I edit this template, you'll see exactly how this template is created. These are callouts. Okay, so there's just three callouts. Okay, that's how that gets formed. And I just picked a little icon that seemed to represent, you know, somewhat what the what each section is made for. And and it's as simple as that. So anytime you're looking at a table uh, or a database of any kind, you can create templates there. Um, and if I click this drop down. I can do a main page template, right? So here's the templates in this drop down next to new, and I can create a new template here. So that's how that got created. And once, and since this is one master database for all of my clients, I only have to create it once, and it's available for every client that I ever use. So there was a reason I wanted to set it up this way. Um, it creates some extra things I have to do, like the filtering to create an area that's reserved for that client. But it makes it really nice in that I don't have to sort of duplicate my efforts when I'm doing this kind of stuff. So that, in essence, is it, my friends. Just a quick recap. Back on my nerd board, I've got a main menu here. And I'll click over to my clients. I can do my search for my client by name. I have it in there alphabetically, too. So if I want, I can simply scan the list. I'll open up that client's main page. And actually, backing up to that. The way this the way this uh, main the way this page is done the the master list, it's actually just filtered for only main pages. So it's basically a list of every single one of my clients that are active. Um, it's filtered to show only clients that are active and only pages where the item type is main page. Each client only has one main page. So that's how this gets built. And then, like I said, I can search out my client by name 
and open up their page and then focus on that client. And now I'm ready to go. I'll delete this extra row here. As soon as they schedule the next session or right afterwards, when I'm ready to set up the recording and share it with them, um, I will just add the next page, use my meeting template, drag the video over there, grab that share link and email my client to let them know that their recording is available and the notes are up from our session. And clients love this. It makes it so easy for them to access their content. Uh, you know, all the meeting notes, all the videos of each recording of each session that we did. Um, sometimes I have to ask people to send me a recording of our Zoom sessions. It's so nice for the client when they don't even have to ask and you just do it for them. And this kind of a process in Notion makes it really, really easy to do exactly that. That, my friends, is how to set up Notion for a coaching business specifically for the one-on-one -on -one sessions that you may be providing to your clients. As always, if you uh, learned something, let me know in the comments. Give me your feedback. Ask me your questions. Post them below wherever you happen to be watching this video, and I will get back to you with answers as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.